sometimes during prayer sure. or a priestly blessing, and you kind of alluded to this early on, I can feel a physical sensation such as a power field almost hitting me, even pushing me backward. Can we explain this phenomenon in physics terms, or is this something from a heavenly dimension that is not explainable in scientific terms? I just finished reading your book, Finding True Happiness, and it's been a great encouragement for me. Thanks, Connie. Actually, Connie must be next door. She's in Orange County, California, where uh, you are as oh, we speak. Great. And so uh, Connie's yeah. very close there. That's interesting, too, because you think of the charismatic renewal. You had people who would, uh, you know, be slain in the oh, spirit. Yeah. So these other kind of manifestations, yeah. can we explain them scientifically? Well, uh, alas, I don't think you can. I really do think it's a it's a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Uh, no question, you know, the the Holy Spirit can manifest uh, His power through the physical world, right? So when the Spirit, you know, uh, actuates a miracle in the name of Jesus, so you say, in the name of Jesus, be healed, and suddenly somebody's liver cancer is healed or something, right? Uh, the Spirit's power, which is a spiritual power, Connie is actually moving into and through the physical embodiment of that person. So when that happens, right, uh, you, know, the, the, you know, a miracle occurs. Same thing with, you know, being slain in the spirit or feeling that physical force field. I mean, I've, I've certainly had it when somebody was laying hands on me, you know, I just felt, you know, this enormous kind of pressure, you know, uh, you know down on me and, and uh, uh, definitely, you know, it, it had its physical manifestation, mm -hmm. but uh, it's working through your body, through your physical body, but really it's a spiritual mm -hmm. power, and it's a power that the Spirit engenders in the world, and you feel it because, of course, it's mediated through your body. And so, uh, yeah, it, it, would, it really wouldn't have a quantum explanation or, or classical physical explanation, but really a spiritual explanation which is, is felt and felt and mediated through your physical embodiment. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, too, because uh, I think of my own personal experience. I, I can remember when I was thinking about coming to EWTN, I, I, I virtually had this feeling as if I had someone like pulling on my collar, you know, pulling me. Every time I got yeah. refocused on to what I was doing already, I felt like I was constantly getting pulled back to this question about EWTN, so. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, uh, believe me, I mean, if the Spirit wants you, uh, you know, you're, you could get a, everything from a St. Paul on the road <laughs> to Damascus, you know, to the, the real subtleties of, you know, Ignatian consolation and desolation, right. but oh yes, the, mm -hmm. they're real feelings and they have real physical manifestations and, uh, you know, he's not going to force you, but he is going to invite you and sometimes he can invite you with a great deal of force and I've been there done that it's very authentic very right. spiritual and you know it's almost like our own little miracle in the world